Hi, this is Chris with HowToAbleton.com and I'm going to do a video on printing the MIDI chord effect in Ableton and the reason why you should do it. We're not making any sound in this one. We may make a little sound. What we're going to do is create a MIDI track and I'm going to just grab four bars, shift command M and then shift plus to zoom in on that. Open this up, I'll turn fold on. I want to turn that on. Let's grab a plugin. One of my favorites, Taluno. The Juno 106. Uh, it's very, very good. I have a real Juno 106, and this competes every time. And this patch is pretty good, too. Let's add a note. Turn this on so I can monitor when I'm typing the notes in. I'm going to widen the grid out so I can... <laughs> Okay, boring, but let's see what happens when we print this. It's not going to change the sound at all, but it definitely will help you get an understanding of what this is doing. So I'm going to add this plugin before the Taluno. And all this is doing is giving you six almost polyphony. So you can change, you can shift up and down the scale on what you want. Right now it's only doing three. Uh, three notes. Let's change, let's do a higher one. So let's go up 12. Uh, let's go down seven. Come on. Let's see, negative seven. Sometimes typing works. And this one, well, we'll leave it alone. Okay, so there's our chord. So I'm going to take another MIDI track, and all ends means it, right now it's any kind of MIDI signal comes in, it's going to it's going to record it. I'm going to go down here, click that, and you go down and pick the name of the track you want the MIDI from. So I want the MIDI that's coming out of this Tal Uno channel. So I click that, put it on in, hit record. Now I'm going to record. Not the audio of the plugin. I'm recording the MIDI output from this channel right here into this channel, and it's going to print the actual chords that the chord plugin is making. Because right now you just have these one single notes. And if you turned off this plugin, you got nothing. Turn it back on. So if, let's do this record. Okay. Now. There you have it. There are the MIDI notes that the chord plugin spit out. Now, this can help you. You know, a lot of us aren't classically trained musicians, so I don't really know how to play really intense chords like this. But I can look at it now and maybe get an idea. Maybe I can learn a little bit on, on what I need to know about why the chord sounds like it does or how to do it on my own. Um, but another good use for this, those of us who have hardware synths, I can now send this out. Right now I'm using a, um, one of the uh, Pro Tools, the Avid DigiDesign old MIDI I.O. boxes. Set it out port 10. I'll send that out to my real Juno 106. And as long as I have audio routed back into Ableton from the Juno 106, I can play this chord over there um, and trigger my outboard gear with the chord. Yes, I could probably do it with the plug-in in these single notes. Um, but now I have more control. If I wanted to go in here and say, well, on this particular patch, I want this to be up an octave. You know, you can change things up this way and keep them in key in the structure of the chord, but you now have power over it instead of just having the plug-in on. And it gives you a little more knowledge about what's really happening. Anyway, I hope that helped. It was a quick one. Uh, put it to good use. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you.